Okay, we are getting ready to get our art on. I am super spookified. I just listened to the most terrifying podcast. <laughs> like, set the stage. I got my $1 Goodwill t-shirt on that I love to wear in October. We are so close. You guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. We are going to have so much fun today, just so you know. This is a really easy project. Even if you don't have drawing skills or you've never done watercolor before, this is actually a great, great beginner watercolor project, believe it or not. We are going to have a ton of fun, just in case you didn't know that. Now you know. So, oh no. Uh-oh, uh I guess I'm, it's having trouble on Facebook. That's too bad. Oops. Well, we are going to just keep plugging away on YouTube and hopefully Facebook can give get itself sorted uh oh well i can always send out the replays i'm gonna keep going thank goodness i'm also on youtube because otherwise we would be a little screwed all right well whoever's on youtube you guys you're lucky that you're here right now <laughs> oh technical difficulties why 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 let me just see what it says um i don't know Please check Facebook. All right. I'm just going to see how this looks on Facebook for one second and why it's not going. Oh, interesting. I don't know why it's, I don't I have no idea why. <clears throat> All right. Well, luckily I gave everyone on my email list at least, um, Oh God, don't you love technology? So good when it works and it's so bad when it works. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully if you're on my email list, you, then you'll know that you can maybe try YouTube instead. I don't know. That's never happened before. I do not know. I do not know what's going on. YouTube is the best for live. Facebook always messes up. It doesn't normally, but I don't know. It's definitely messing up now. Let me see. I'm getting a message. Do, do, do. Oh, it's just my husband sending me love letters. It's very cute. All right, I'm just going to dive in. I can, There's nothing I can do about Facebook, so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, thank you. It was a doll. I got a Goodwill for a buck a couple years ago, and I was like, who would give up this amazing shirt? And my favorite part about it is that there's a sequence on it, so it's even sparkly, just for extra funsies. So, everyone, I'm so excited you're here. All right, now I'm getting a Facebook. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. So annoying. Oy. And of course, my one magical team member is like on an airplane right now who can do that. So, okay. Anyways, we're just going to dive in again. There's nothing I can really do from Facebook's point of view. So I'm just going to forge ahead. So this is what we're doing today. This original illustration, I know Facebook isn't working. There's literally nothing I can do about it. So I, I'm, I'm not going to interrupt our whole, all of our, our whole service. Um, I know. I don't know. I really don't know what to do about that. And my husband is texting me. Hold on. Oi. And my my one staff person who who knows how to help can't help. I wonder why that is. Um, where's my events? I'm so sorry. Just give me two seconds. That's a really fat bummer if this does not work because, oh, here we go. Happening now. Maybe. I will do this. I guess I'll try it this way. Um, that's so weird. Let me go back out for one second. I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, I know. Good morning. I'm so glad Jeanette is coming too. <laughs> I don't know what's happening on Facebook ads. <laughs> I don't know why it's not working. All right, I'm going to try one more time. Yeah, it's just like circling. I don't know what is going on. Um, okay, 
Anyways, I'm going to forge ahead and I will put the recording on Facebook for everyone. Um, that's so strange. I have no, I have no idea. Okay. Anyways, we're going to just have to forge ahead. So this is an Arthur Rackham illustration. He was a super, he was actually the world's first like commercially famous illustrator. And he lived in the late 1800s to the early 1900s. And I am in awe of his work. Oh, I am on on there now. Okay. Oh, thank you. Dawn for letting me know. It's like, I feel awful that it wasn't working. Okay. Sorry. We're having technical difficulties. Um, yeah, I'm not on zoom. I don't know what's going on, but I'm so, thank you for letting me know. I was like, I feel so helpless because I can't do anything. All right. So Facebook was having issues. I think it might be cleared up. If you guys can, um, keep me posted, Dawn, I really appreciate that. Jeanette is usually, um, oh, Diane says I'm not on Facebook. Oh no. I don't know. Okay. I have to move on. There's just no, there's no way around it when I'm that one running the show. All right. Hi, Bernadette. I'm so glad that you are here today. At least my email list gets, got both links. So hopefully if they tried one, they, they can come over and try another. So I wanted to do something easy and fun. And I thought this lamppost project was perfect. When I saw these little like squiggly lines, I, it actually, the first thought that crossed my head when I saw it was like, that would be the perfect thing for my left hand to do, which is like a really random thought. But I was like, I could just feel my left hand, I'm right-handed, making these like awkward squiggly kind of lines. And so I wanted to test it out to see if that would make a good like craggly vine effect. And it totally worked. So I'm very excited. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what to say about Facebook. It's actually really tragic because um, there were a ton of people signed up to watch it. And now I feel horribly about it. And there's nothing I can do. I don't know. Maybe I can pull out. I don't know. Oh, I'm glad here too. It's still, still waiting on Facebook. Oh, it stinks. I know no one can get in. That's really bad. Oh, really bad. Oh, I'm like so stressed out about it. I don't know what to do. Um, maybe you on Facebook. Oh, you did? Okay. This is YouTube link in the Facebook group to have people join us here. Okay. Amazing. Thank you. I'm a little creeped out because that is me. Oh. Is that you, Taylor? Oh, my God. You are a freaking lifesaver. Oh, it's Mandy. <laughs> I'm commenting. And I don't know. <laughs> oh, my God. Mandy, can you do me a huge favor, actually? Can you go to my Facebook page? Can you go to my Facebook page and go to events and, and give the link to people on Facebook? Would you mind doing that? Like replying to comments and putting that in the post? You're freaking me out. Okay, cool. Yay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to answer questions in chat to maybe hopefully get people over here. What a nightmare. I'm so sorry. Um, Random question. How can I get acrylic ink splatters off my phone screen? Yeah, that is a fingernail and Windex. That would be, that would be my thing. Mandy, you're literally a lifesaver right now. I want to cry. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't know why why that is. Um, okay, so what's funny about... Oh, I just clicked it. And now I don't know what's happening. Maybe is it working now? I just clicked my Facebook thing and I the error message stopped. Hmm. I know, I mean, I have really good team members, but I didn't actually even ask Manny to come help. Oh, it was hand sanitizer. That's good too. This is going to be the worst playback experience. Like the first 10 minutes is just going to be like gabbly gook. <laughs> Look at me freaking out. Oh my gosh. So the supplies today are, oh no, I'm still getting the error message. Oh, that's so crappy. <clears throat> so the supplies today are like weirdly limited. They're weirdly limited. We, I'm doing almost the whole thing in Stabilo All Pencil. So does anyone, has anyone not, is anyone not familiar with the Stabilo All Pencil? 
It is mighty. It is a mighty force. And it is a very, very jet black pencil, like super jet black. Um, the blacks to black. And I really enjoy. <clears throat> oh, it does have a spam link. I know people have been like attacking my page. It's super, super bad. I think they like are destroying it. Oh, that's actually horrifying. I was worried about that because I saw them coming in and I was started blocking people. And okay, maybe what I'm going to do, I don't even know. Okay. So Sibylla Wall is awesome. It's awesome coupled with acrylics. I use it a ton in mixed media and I also love to use it with anything with anything else that's water soluble, honestly. Oh, good. <clears throat> Oh, Mandy is like saving the day. That's awesome. I know we're having massive difficulties on Facebook and Mandy is going and dropping the link so people can come and find us here. I've been really getting attacked lately, like big time from spammers, especially uh, during my lives. And so it's been actually very distracting. As you can see, it's like blustering. So they're doing a really good job. Thanks. Thanks, hackers. I appreciate it. Um, would a 4B and or charcoal pencil work if we don't have a Stabilo? It will, we'll, I think charcoal would be better. And I can show you what, when we are like using water with our Stabilo, you should be taking either a blending stump and your finger and really like edifying up those lines. And that will give you a similar effect. I know people, people suck. People on Facebook suck lately. Not you, the hackers that are like literally out to get me. <clears throat> and it looks like today they're actually winning. Um, so we're going to draw this first in graphite pencil. And then we are going to trace over our lines in Sibilo All Pencil. And then we are going to use a combination of watercolor and water to activate the marks that we have down already. So like the Stabilo All will, will become nice and black and gorgeous and dark. And it's gonna mix with the colors of our watercolor to kind of blend these all together. And it's super satisfying. It can be terrifying if you've never done, um, if you've never used it before, but you can make a big mess with a Stabilo All pencil, but you can also like harness the power of the Stabilo All and use it very purposefully to like blend in, uh, blend in the colors. So yeah, it's just a really dark, dark, darkest black watercolor pencil at the end of the day, but it's called the Stabilo All because it writes on anything. It writes on, and it even says it on here, like paper, glass, plastic, metal, like it writes on everything, but it's, Yes, the lesson will stay up, but it, um, but it's also really water soluble. So when you add water to it, it will like melt like watercolors. So it's really awesome and blendy. Um, and I'll give people a few more minutes to come over from Facebook because they're demolishing my Facebook page right now. Oh, good. People are helping out. Oh, you guys, I literally love you so much. Um, for the people, it looks like people are on Facebook and sharing the YouTube link that like makes, thank you for helping for those that are like being my little admin helpers right now. Um, it's so, it's really, I really appreciate it. You can use any sharpener you have. You don't need a special pencil sharpener. Um, these are actually are two Arthur, Arthur Rackham books that I actually own. I did, um, I did a deep dive on him in one of my other art and one of my art groups, my art clubs. And so well, I have these deep dives. We actually go and do some of his illustration types, although we didn't do this type, but he has, his work is incredible. It's intricate. It's all ink and watercolor. Um, and we tried emulating some of his pieces before and it was way harder than it looked. Oh, good. I'm glad you're coming over here. Yeah. The, the Facebook has been like, I've been like full on att attacked on Facebook. I can't even keep up with the hackers. It's so bad. And it looks like oh, the thing failed to post. I don't know what in the world is going on on Facebook today. That's really bad. That makes me feel awful. And I feel kind of helpless sitting here. I don't know how to help all those poor people. 
I wonder why it's, I know there's something going on with my account, but thank you for letting me know. I will have to see if I can address it later. For those of you who are on my newsletter list, I've also been sending out and sharing this. I had like, a, I made like a six page PDF packet. Um, if you're new to my world, I'm obsessed with writing books and also creating PDF packets. So I actually, these are all royalty free, different Raven pictures in case you want to like go your own way or do another rendition later on. You can have some more photos to inspire you as well as different lantern designs. I think things are, these are gorgeous to just sit and sketch. Oh, thank you, Dawn. I am worried, but thank you. I had like 700 people signed up to watch it on YouTube, on Facebook. So I just feel really badly for all of those people. <clears throat> so this would be something I would love to just like sit and sketch in my free time. When I toured Eastern Europe a couple of years ago, um, I, I took a million pictures of just lampposts. All the kids thought that I was crazy because I, all I was taking pictures with the light the whole time. My kid was like, well, stop doing that. I'm like, shut up. They're amazing. Thank you so much, Mandy. <clears throat> Oh God. And I can't even, yeah, this is what I'm worried. Uh, I know. And my, my one admin for Facebook is not here today. She's on an airplane. Thank you, Mary. Thank you very much. Oh, that was not what I want to ha highlight, but also happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday to all the birthday people. Oh my goodness. All right. So I also in that PDF, in case you had it at like, I like collected all these fun lamp post things so that we could, um, if you wanted some extra inspiration, we could go do it. Actually going to send my husband um, a quick note. What a nightmare. I'm, I'm a little mad right now. <clears throat> just going to actually just realized my husband is, uh, hey, Sean, I'm actually doing a Facebook Live as we speak, and the hackers apparently have taken over my account, and I'm not able to live stream, and they're, like, scamming people for money. Jeanette, who's my admin, is on an airplane. If you get this message, can you please go on um, Facebook since you're an admin and maybe try to block some of these hackers that are coming through on my live stream page? Not sure if that's within your bandwidth or capability, but if you can, if you get this message, SOS help. Okay, thanks. Love you. Bye. You never know. Maybe that will help. All right. Without further ado, I'm super stressed and we're just going to keep going. Everyone, we're going to start with some watercolor paper. Do you guys have your watercolor paper? Ooh, handy. Oh, I'm glad you appreciated the PDF. Yeah, it's fun to have some extra inspiration, especially if you want to go your own way. Oh, I'm excited. The PDF was, oh, good. Oh, oh, there's two pages. That's so strange. Uh, the PDF is, if you're on my newsletter, you would have gotten the PDF. Thank you for posting my YouTube link. Uh, actually, everyone. Um, oh, thank you, Mary. <laughs> I know. Is that my fault? I just feel really bad. I had like 700 people that had signed up to come watch it. And now they're like probably just sitting there like, what's happening? So we're going to start on some watercolor paper. Cold press is nice for this project. If all you have is hot press, hot press is kind of amazing as well. Just get anything. Um, just get any watercolor paper that you can. If you don't have watercolor paper, you have mixed media paper, that will work too. Um, just make sure you can go get on my newsletter. Just go to awesomeartschool.com and click sign up for newsletter and then you'll be on my newsletter. And I'll also be emailing the replay for this because holy hot mess. You guys are so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. I know it's just, I feel very like helpless because I can't fix it. Thank you guys. I'm so sorry. Uh, what's nice is I can download this recording and edit it and then upload it for everyone. So we'll have like a clean version without 10 minutes of me freaking out. All right, you guys ready? We're going to need a pencil to start in our watercolor paper. Okay. Someone said, where's the traceable? And I said, we're going to draw this today. Okay. It is time to drink. <laughs> it's almost noon. <laughs> 
Thank you, Cheryl. I hope other people do too, <clears throat> but not everyone's on my email list. All right, I'm gonna scoop my piece of paper over here so you can see this left-hand strip. I'm also going to do this. Nope, I'm gonna do this so that you can see my drawing better. Oh, thank you guys for your support. I seriously appreciate it so much. All right, I got a new webcam and it actually can get brighter, which I'm very excited about. Okay. So let's start on our left side of our paper, getting my reference nearby. I already did this one. So I'm going to do this. So I'm just, we're just going to concern about, yes, thank you. Smart going. Yeah, they really are like successfully spoiling everything and also like get a job and stop just ruining people's lives for funsies. Like it's get a real job. You know what I mean? Okay. We're going to go, we're going to do a straight line down the side of my side of the paper. Maybe this is probably like a, a fifth of the way down of the way over. You can use a ruler, but I really feel like, oh, blue would be cool. Just go with it. Because we're going to kind of mash it in with some colors too. So we're just going to do a straight line down the side. And it's fine if it's wonky if you want to get a pencil if you want to get a ruler get a ruler but you really didn't you really don't need one all right now we're going to do this little part first so up here at the top we're going to come down i don't know like an inch maybe and we're just going to do we're going to come out a bit come out a bit i don't you don't need to come out halfway it's just like a little bit okay and then we're going to make this have a little thickness. So we're going to do another line right under it. That's the same exact length. You guys are so nice. Thank you, green and beautiful. Yeah, Bramble Gin. I could act, I really need one right now for my nerves. Can I have one too, Patricia? Send me one from the Netherlands. I'll drink it. All right, and we're just gonna close that off with a little boop right at the top. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in because I have the power with my new my new webcam. Okay, now this is soup. This is actually really fun. We're gonna make a series of like other lines so we can do like, and it does not matter like how far down we go. So I used to work in uh, for architects. We do little like uh, architectural details. And I used to love doing these because when you're doing like crown molding and things that I just did like one, two, three, four parallel lines and they can be spaced out a ton. They can be spaced out close. It actually doesn't matter. It all looks awesome when you're done with it. So to make this kind of like molding, you can actually mess around with these little lines that join them together. So you could go like, I went like in on the top one and then you can move your line in a little bit and maybe you can go in again. And then the line that I have on here is I actually went, so I went like in, I did like a curve line in and this one could be like a, a curve line out. <laughs> you could do a curve line in again. It really doesn't matter, but you're kind of just like switching up what happens between the lines. And you can make them really close together you can make them really far apart. There's like no wrong way to make molding edges. It's actually kind of fun. So you have, so this looks different than that because I just made my lines different. These are like all the same, but you can also like skip to if you want and have like a big section. Literally does it not matter. It's all fun and it all reads well from a distance, which is the only thing that that matters. So it's kind of fun. All right, so let me know when you've done this little top section part. Or if I need to slow down, I will slow down. Zoop. You have some sort of a crown molding. I should have also said, if you also want to do just like a pole, you will, you don't even have to do a building if you don't want to do a building. That's why I brought that PDF together. 
Oh, good. Yay, Robin. I am sorry about the shit show that is Facebook right now. If you're coming from Facebook. Okay, great. What a nightmare. Okay, good. So we have some sort of crown molding detail. And I love how you can't mess it up. No matter what you do, you can't mess it up. Okay, good. I feel like we're all on the same page. Now, I think about halfway down, oh, I'm so used to doing the zoom on my camera with my hand and it doesn't work the same way there. Yes, there is absolutely a replay. And I'm also gonna edit it so it'll be nice and clean and not have us me freaking out about Facebook not working. I'm glad you came over from Facebook. We are just getting started. So go grab a piece of watercolor paper. You can still hop in. Okay, so now, so I have this top part and then I actually, you know, come down a little bit and just for funsies made like another little, just like another little boop. So I just do two little parallel lines. We're just adding some more ornateness if you want. Awesome. <clears throat> and then there's like another little one. <laughs> yes, I will clean up, I will tidy up the replay for everyone. I know what I'm doing this afternoon. <laughs> Okay, and then I do. There's another little. There's another little bips and bobs here. So another one. It's just again, you have two parallel lines, any thickness. This one I had yet another line, so I had a third line, and then you just join them up any way you want. You can have a curved line. You can do a, just a straight line. I kind of like it when there's like a curve. It looks a little. It looks just a little fancy, and you can have them anywhere. You know, these ornate columns kind of go forever and ever. And then at some point or another, we need to have our lamp post ledge because our raven has some has to have somewhere to sit, right? Okay, so you can see this. So this one's a little bit different than that side. That's fine. So anywhere you want to, I'm going to kind of aim for like the middle of my paper. I'm going to have the, the top part of the ledge. It's pretty much smack dab in the middle. And this is, and I'm going to make two parallel lines to have the light, the light post sticking out. Now here is where you can get super creative, right? You know, your light post can look like a million different things. It doesn't have to, I'm very jealous, Jillian. It doesn't have to be, doesn't have to look like this. It doesn't have to look like his. His is super ornate and they're so, I don't even, I can't even like see kind of what's going on. And here's this kind of curly way. This one I love the shape of. I might try this shape today. This is nice and symmetrical and this one has a bit of an angle. So actually something symmetrical is actually a little bit easier. So once you have your, uh, once you have your two parallel long lines set up, we can decide that we're going to just figure out the placement of our light post. So here, mine is like up here, which is kind of the same as being up here on mine. So we can we can keep it the same way or we can move it over anywhere you want. It's really it's fine. There's no wrong ways to have a lamp post. I'm trying to look at my original drawing. Yeah, somewhere in there. Maybe extend this a little bit further because if the lamp post is kind of this in the middle here, I want a little bit of an over overhang. I think I'm going to do this one today. I think it's really pretty and it's a little bit different than the one that I have. Why not? Okay, so um, I'm going to put the base of it here. So I'm just declaring like, oh, I'm going to scoot it over a little bit because I forgot we have to put the raven there as well. So I'm going to make a base that's kind of up like that. See that little base? Move in a little bit. Okay. And then it's kind of like the crown molding we just did where we're just gonna put a lid on, put a lid on that base. Oh, this is gonna be a big one. I might have to start a smaller so my it can get larger as we go up. 
and you can make another set of parallel lines. You start to understand how these things are built up in just like these sections. Okay. And then I'm going to flare my sides out on either side. Oh, I'm excited. It's pretty already and we haven't even started yet. Okay, so it's kind of flaring on either side. And we're going to put a top on it. Okay, and I'm going to continue out again a little bit more. And we're going to put a top on that. And then we're going to put like a beautiful little triangle, like a curved triangle, kind of like that and like that. Something that you can do any variation of any of this that you like. You can make up your own from your imagination. And maybe there's some little, you know, fun little designs on the top. We could put like a, a ball here. Oh, Lori, I'm so glad you found me. What a nightmare. My hacker, hackers have like completely overtaken my account on Facebook at the moment. And because I'm busy on YouTube, I can't even do anything about it. So I'm glad you found us. And thank you to everyone who went over to Facebook and has been posting links to the YouTube. Goodness. All right. So we have. And the replay will be posted in Facebook. So we're on watercolor paper. We're just going along this. Just do a quick recap. Doing this. We did two parallel lines across down the side. And then these are all just a series of parallel lines. And it doesn't actually matter how long, how short they are. And we just take turns joining them up with a series of curved lines in either direction or straight down to join them up. Just to make some sort of implying the, the de decorations on the side of this column or whatever this is, side of a building. And then we're just making up a fun lantern of any kind. Okay. And we can add all sorts of, you know, fun details to it. And we can do it now or we can do it with our Stibolo all. So I'm going to come make two little floppy lines in this direction. And I'm following my little reference here. And I don't want to make it, I don't want to go off the page. So I'm just going to finish it up and add that little detail at the top. Yay, Gwen. You came from Facebook. I apologize. It is a nightmare over there right now. Okay. And then these two lines over here need some thickness. So I'm just going to add a, a double line on those areas. Oh, thank you so much, Mandy. Mandy is saving the day. Girlfriend, thank you. And then we can do one down the middle. We can do two curved lines over here. Whatever you are in the mood for. Whatever is floating your boat today. I'm, I'm liking this one. I'm glad I went a different way. And then we can add whatever we want on the bottom. I just want to have something dangly it would be fun. So I kind of just did this one again, but underneath. Just kind of mirrored it. I'm looking at my reference for, this is the reference that I'm working from. And it's in that PDF that Mandy just dropped the link in. Thank you, Michelle. I appreciate that. Oh, you're so welcome, Mira. Yay. So here is one of the PDFs that I you can get. Uh, this link was just dropped in the chat, in the comment section. Thank you so much. Mandy is one of my many amazing assistants um, who is basically here saving the day right now. <laughs> Mandy, thank you so much. So that link, you can actually... You can actually type that out. If you can't click on it, it should be a clickable link. But if it's not for you, you can actually you can actually copy and paste it or put it in or type it into a new route, a new tab. 
and you can grab that for later if you want to come back and do it. So we have, we kind of mirrored this one and there's more like decoration we can add. I'm just kind of keeping it simple for now. And so we can get as ornate as we want to. I love these. There's like a little, like a little curly Q thing here we can do. You know, make it, this is like a backwards C. And then, well, reversing things is sometimes a challenge. <laughs> backwards curly Q. That's kind of fun. Yeah, it's totally half time to drink. I'm like, I need a Bloody Mary. It's almost noon. That's acceptable. And then under here, maybe I'll do this again. Like, I need to, I'm going to let the, I'm going to letting the art therapy, like, infuse my soul. This is why art is so healthy, right? It makes us feel so good. We have this and this. Again, we could flip it again. You could go on and on with these little details and doodads. But I love this. There's like this, it almost reminds me of like a, I don't know, like a dagger or something. I'm just going to simplify it. And it's really long. Because it makes it kind of extra spooky. I'm trying, I am, I am spooked. So that's kind of fun. Yeah, that I I can't believe they're charging money. I'm like a fit to be tied and I'm not over there to be able to block them. Thank you so much, Tracy, for letting me know. I have to go. <sighs> yes, you'll be able to rewatch it. Absolutely. I know. They're, I know. It's really bad right now. <laughs> Try not to think about it. Okay, so there's our design that I just did based on one of the links, one of the pages that are in the PDF. And here's some more for your inspiration. So here's kind of like the one I was doing in my first painting. That was my inspiration. As you can see, you don't see the lamp. There's six pages. I am not, I am not sure. You can follow me right now. Boop. Take a screenshot and then you can use this. Oh my God. Thank you, Tracy. I like can't even think about it right now. It's so really bad. I'm stressing out. Okay. And then we're just, and then we can do some fun things with this. So we can make that fancy. Now in this case, I decided to switch it up and kind of made my light fancy. So actually I don't want to make this too crazy ornate because I kind of like that this is like stealing the show right now. So I think I'm actually going to make the, I, I think I'm actually going to make a very straightforward kind of attachment piece so that my light post is what's like having the attention and actually not. I think here it's like this is sort of grabbing your, the most of your attention. And here I think like this whole thing. First of all, it's ginormous. <laughs> I'm just going to let that like steal the show. And maybe there's just a couple of, you know, just a couple of curly cues or something in here. But I'm keeping it a little bit more simple. Whatever that needs to look like. Whatever that is. I do not know. Some sort of. Something just a little bit more simple and sophisticated. And maybe just maybe that's all it is. Maybe it's just a little curl. Why not? Just a little baby curl. Keep us straight here. I like it actually. Oh, good. I'm glad. Okay, cool. I'm glad you like all the, yeah, the different lampposts. I know there's so many. I love a lamppost. <clears throat> no, the link isn't working. Don, if you're on my mailing list, you have that link already mailed to you. I I mailed I emailed that link over to you on Saturday. Um, actually, I think I did it twice. 
Monday and Saturday, I, I mailed that PDF out. All right, let's have our Raven. Our Raven is super simple. I like going to the original reference for the Raven because it actually is very simple and straightforward. Oh, thank you guys. All right. So we're gonna put, there's a little space right here. That's where our Raven is gonna sit. So we're gonna start with a backwards C. So here's our little C. And then this part's gonna sit right here. Okay, so we're just gonna do this backwards C shape, which is the top and the, the back side. No, you were in the right place, Lindy. My Facebook account is being actively hacked right now and taken over by horrible people, which is why um, yeah, my husband just saw it. Uh, okay. All right. On YouTube, we'll deal with later. Okay. So we're doing a backwards C and I'm just going to make this come around a little bit more. And then we're going to add a little beak right now, right here. Okay. It is all going to be saved. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yep. It really will be. If you want to go to awesomeartschool.com and click sign up for a newsletter, I'm going to email out this recording edited so you don't see me freaking out. <laughs> okay. So we have the backwards C. We're going to do a little beak. And we're just going to do a straight line off the beak. And then we're going to do a straight line off the back, actually. Okay. And then this little tail. So if this was on the corner of the building, the raven's tail can actually extend beyond that point and we'd be fine. Okay. I know I love this image too. It's definitely getting me in the Halloween moon. Oh, my husband. <laughs> Unclear how to block people. I just need to give him a quick, quick tutorial. <laughs> if, I think you have to be operating as me on my page. You literally go, you click on the person's name. You need to get to their profile. And then um, it, you can, there's like three dots and you can click on it. And then it'll say like block this profile. It's always nice to, <laughs> I just got to know my husband's never like done anything on Facebook. And then Jeanette, who normally is here is like, I'm in customs. I'm like, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. Do we all have our Raven? Do we need to go? Um, yeah, you have time. I'm not blocking you, Natalia, unless you're a hacker, in which case I am so blocking you. <laughs> um, so Mary, yeah, you can redraw it. You actually, it's going to be black. So don't even erase it. I would actually just draw a larger one over the same area because we're going to cover that's all going to become black. So don't even worry about erasing. And my lamppost is like five times bigger than my original one because here's my original one. My original one, it, my lamp is a lot smaller. And this one, it's my lamp is humongous. <laughs> Raven is small, so it, it doesn't matter. They come in all shapes and sizes. <laughs> okay, thank you, Natalia. That's amazing. I appreciate your help so much. Thank you, everyone, for being so supportive. It's a freaking nightmare. Okay. Okay, I see your duns coming in. Yeah, and if you need to make it bigger, again, just leave your original sketch because we're going to cover it all up and make them all nice and as big as you would like to. Mine's like a little, mine looks more like a little baby bird, not like a big, awesome, spooky raven <laughs> because my lamp, oh, hi, Martin, it's so 
nice to see you. My uh, my lantern is extra ginormous this time. Okay. So now this is actually super relaxing. This is all the hard part is completely done. <laughs> Your lamp is little, but you're not mad. <laughs> I know my lamp is big. I'm not going to be mad. Like it's all good. It's all, it always comes together magically somehow in the end. So now what I'm going to do is take your watercolor pencil. I'm going to be using a Stabilo All pencil. If you don't have a watercolor pencil, you can even use like a felt tip pen is water soluble. You can use any water soluble anything just for funsies. And if you don't have one, that is fine. Just use like a charcoal you can use just use a you can just use a, a graphite pencil that is fine. You can use a black colored pencil if you want to have the same kind of like edgy look. Then you would want to use black versus like graphite to give it the like grungy, spooky look we're going for. But charcoal would be an amazing substitute as well. Okay. Only on the event page part, not on... Yeah, it is. They've like attacked my event. It's a little horrifying. Because um, the event page is how people get to here. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. So we're just going to trace over everything. You do not need to push down super hard. The Stabilo has its own level of magic. It, it's going to activate like crazy, which is why I love it so much. So I'm doing sort of light, not super hard. And I'm just going to literally trace all of my graphite lines with my Stabilo all. And try not to think about the fact that my Facebook page has been completely taken over by hackers who are charging my wonderful friends and followers money to watch my free Facebook live event. Yep. It is. Oh yeah, you could totally do the elegant writer. Totally. And I'm going to leave a voice message for Jeanette <laughs> while I trace my lines. <laughs> um, not a problem, Jeanette. If you have a moment while you're standing in customs, which is a nightmare, and you happen to get this voice message, my Facebook account events page for today has been taken over by hackers and people are getting charged for this free live event. If you have any chance and you see this and you want to go and start blocking people, um, that would be amazing. And if not, that's fine. I hope you had a wonderful time in Egypt and welcome home, my friend. I missed you. Okay, we'll see if that does anything. <laughs> all right so hopefully this is relaxing for you i'm like smearing graphite with my hand all the way down the page and like it's all good because it's all gonna get like edgified and filled in and i mean you're really chasing every single line so the raven gets or for me someone said hummingbird my hummingbird because it's so tiny you can make i can make my bird bigger I, maybe I'll make my bird bigger too while I'm here. I'm going to make him grow. Oh, that was huge. Oh, he's, he's a foot somewhere in there. All right. Now I, I do feel better. Maybe he's even bigger than that. All right. I know, right, Robin? Robin says a magical stabilo all my favorite i know it is i do i get like cravings i'll be like oh my god i miss my stabilo it is we're just we're just tracing our lines anybody can do that oh sorry maggie all right now i'm gonna trace my lantern Do, do, do. All 
Oh, I'm like, where's my reference? <clears throat> I do not know. My reference go. Oh, there it is. All right. Again, just all the lines. And it always looks like a bit of a kindergartner draw drawing when you trace them in the Stabilo, especially on the watercolor paper because it's so bumpy. And my hand is like all smeared the graphite everywhere. And the magic of this Stabilo All too is like you don't even need to add even watercolors sometimes. It will do the whole it'll do the whole thing for you. And here's like a like here's a project I do in the in my mixed media society and this is just all Stabilo All. It's all that is. And then you just instead of using water to activate it, we just use matte medium. It's, there's nothing else involved. There's no paint, nothing. It's just this gosh dang pencil. And like, that is it. So it really is quite magical and very powerful, which can scare the living bejesus out of people. But if you learn how to like harness it, you can make some really cool things. I had a really nice time just coming up with this random curve design. <laughs> it's also nice that you don't have to erase, you don't have to stop to erase your pencil either, which is kind of in my world a bonus. It will come in this way. I don't even know. I'm just adding random lines. Yes. Thank you. I know your lantern keeps growing. I know it's like it kind of addicting. My God, Mandy Brown, I love you so much right now. Thank you so much. Oh my God. Uh, and then again, I'm just still tracing. Oh, I love that my dagger end is making my whole day. Because I'm envisioning doing something particular with my dagger to a particular group of Facebook hackers right now. Daggers for you, people. Yep. All right. Makes me so happy. Yay, I'm glad. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. In honor of my Facebook hackers. Oh, yeah, that's so nice. That's super nice. A nice thing to say. I love drawing. It's so relaxing. Oh, this is a great, this is a great, I don't, I really don't need to be erasing this, but I am. Um, this is a great beginner project in every way. It's great for beginner drawers. It's great for beginning watercolors. It's just really is all around perfect for beginners. And it does not mean it's not awesome. It doesn't come out looking like it's sophisticated, but it really is a super good one to start with. All right, awesome. Uh, all right, now let me know when you guys are done tracing your line drawings with your Stabilo. And then I'll move on to the next step which is the fun part. This is when we add water and then it comes together like shockingly quickly. My point, oh, kept breaking. Woo, finally done. I know. I know it's, it's a fine line between having that fat, that fat nib or, uh, or not one. Of course you can, Rachel. This, of course you can. It's yeah, it's, I don't care. It's totally, it's free for everyone. It's free for everyone in the world. Yes, the are no joke. 
They're really, really satisfying. Oh, Sandra, that's funny. I know. It's so brutal. And I just don't, I just hate how easy it is for them to do it. I mean, I people, I block people every single day. And it's on Facebook. YouTube's fine. I have zero problems on YouTube. But Facebook, I have, it's daily. All right. Are we ready for the drama? Don't be afraid to paint. This is the most fun part in the whole world. Oh, you're welcome, fairy tales and fireflies. Because, yeah, housework is the worst. Definitely, definitely hang out here instead of doing housework. All right. We're, all we're going to need is water. Even if all you have is like a water brush, like something like this, that's you're in business. That's all you need. Okay. So just like we just took water and like, oh, we didn't actually do that. Just like we just traced over all of our graphite lines with our Stabilo. We're now going to trace all of our Stabilo lines with water and it's going to get super crazy. So don't panic. What you want to do is you're going to steer the pigments into the areas that we want colored. Okay. So like, for example, if I'm going to, because once, if you're not, if you've not done use the Stabilo before, it can be quite alarming. You want the water to hit it, but it's super reactive, but you want it to go like, in, right? You don't want it to go into the sky. We want it to go into the building. So just make sure when you get it wet and then you're going to like, literally like, be like, come over here, water. You're going to come this way. And you have to tell, tell it where to go because the spill is going to want to go everywhere. So use your brush to steer it where you want it to go. Okay. So you're just going to paint over the lines. Yes but then you're gonna be coax them in the right way. So we're like, all right, come on over here. We need our building to not be white anymore. Okay, so you do have to be a little careful because it's massively reactive. It's just plain water. We're ha not even adding watercolor yet. I'm using a one. Just use any brush, doesn't matter the size. Okay, and I'm just sweeping everything to the left because that's where, that's where, the building is located. Now we are going to be adding watercolor. So if it's not solid, it's fine. We're going to color it in with uh, with watercolor too. This is why it's such a good beginner level because you can't screw this project up. Okay. So if it's white, it's fine. We'll get it with watercolor. If it's black, it's fine. It's a building in the dark. So it's a win-win. No, no matter what you do. Jackie, I'm so glad you love the live streams. You enjoy them so much too. Okay, so I'm just whisking them. Everybody go to the left. Go to the left now. Be a good little Stabilo ink and go to the left. Just keep getting more water. You're done already, Susan? Yeah, right? They're super fun. Zoop, zoop. Well, that's giving kind of a cool effect, even like I'm not filling it in all the way. I kind of like that. Yeah, the Stabilo is no joke. Yay, Mary. Makes me happy. Mary, do you know that you're my first ever lifetime member in the whole wide world? Did you know that? I don't know if you knew that, but I want you to know that. And you will always have a special place in my heart. All right. Ooh, see how it's like mashing? That's like bleeding like crazy. All right. Bring it on. Okay. We're doing all the things. Now the tail is going to want to get crazy. I want the tail to stay with the bird though. So I'm going to coax. I'm like coaxing where we got to like tell all that Stabilo where to go. So it's like, okay, now you belong with the, this raven. So we're going to put you back over here. So I don't lose the whole tail to the building. Some of it can go to the building, but some of it needs to stay with the raven. <laughs> Yours is light. Then add. Um, you can always add another layer, which I'm going to show you how to do too. I also, the trick is also if you don't sharpen the Stabilo and it starts getting a rounded nib, more will come off onto your paper. My paper is also super like cold, like really textured. So it picks up more of the Stabilo. Oh, thanks, Denise. Yeah, even my skills improve. You can't get worse with more practice. It's not a thing. You can only keep getting better. Although I don't think this drawing is very fancy. <laughs> I 
I think everyone can do this. Heels or no skills. We can all draw. Oh, I'm loving this kind of edgy look. Just going to keep it just like that. I'm going to go up here and start again. We got to steer the water into the area we want. Black. He looks way too cutesy for a raven. I don't know how to make him look a little meaner. You'll give him like an evil red eye. <laughs> Boom, get a little feet on there. Right? Oh, it's so easy. And then we're just gonna do the same thing. I'm just running my brush over the lamp. This, whatever the heck this is, attachment swirly thingamajiggy. Mm. Oh, Lordy. I can do that. I'm just standing here <laughs> waiting on mine. I got you, Karen. Huh? That's the. A... I can do that. <laughs> I'm just standing here waiting on mine. Oh my God, that's hilarious. I don't know if you guys heard that, but Jeanette, who I just screamed for help, said, I got you, Karen. I'm just standing in line. And I was like, yeah, girl, that means she's going to go and block all those people. Oh, better late than never, right? Oh my gosh, that is super funny. <laughs> I don't know what I would do without my magical team members. Obviously, I will get hacked and they will take over the world. So, oh, my team, I love you so much. All right. Oh, this looks really good on the swirlies. The swirlies loves itself some Stabilo. What's also fun about the Stabilo, what's, but also dangerous, is that the lines um, keep reactivating. They don't really stop. You do have to be a little careful. Again, I kind of like leaving some of these areas white of the paper. Kind of loving that. It's kind of like pushing it here and then like kind of stopping it. Yes, I will send out the printable, the PDF again with the replay for sure. I can do that. I know. Yay, Jeanette, indeed. Oh my gosh. Oh, Patty, that's you. It didn't. Oh, there's so many. Da, 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 da. Oh, thank you, Tracy. We'll get it figured out. All right, so I'm still. Oh, it does not look neat. I'm not doing the hamburger method. Nope, we are just doing some watercolors and that's, that's it. We don't have time for the hamburger method. In the hamburger method, I do use with the Stabilo all, like all the time. So in case somebody's like, what are you talking about hamburger? It's like my favorite. I actually have a hamburger projects next to me because I was gonna talk about it. It's like my favorite way to do mixed media. And see all the black in here? Like, this is all Stabilo. But in the hamburger method, which is just my fun way of, my fun way to call my favorite layering mixed media system, we actually have the Stabilo and then I actually activate it with like Mod Podge or Matte Medium. That way you can smear it in a controlled way and then it also locks it in place. So when we're doing, when you activate the Stabilo with just water, it's a little dicey because it will still activate. But in this case, we're gonna add watercolors on top. And so the watercolor kind of mixes in with the Stabilo. So it's a totally different use of the Stabilo, but also like harnessing the power of that Stabilo all. So yeah, that's my hamburger system. If you go now that you're on my YouTube channel and look up um, Karen Campbell hamburger system, you'll find lots and lots of videos on it. And it's my 
my favorite way to do mixed media. Now be careful when you get to this part because I, like I have these two thin lines and putting my running my brush over it will fill them all in. Um, and so what I did for this one was I added like a little yellow. So we'll do that as well. So I'm going to like, there's a lot of stabilo here that can still be activated. So we're just going to kind of save that for later and then continue with this part. So satisfying my dagger. My dagger detail. All right. Oh yeah, you can activate any water soluble with any liquid. It doesn't have to be water. So depending on what you use to activate it, you can do it with gesso and that will create a different look. Speaking of which, <laughs> here is a uh, Morticia I did last year and she is with a Stabilo All pencil activated with gesso. So another example of how you can use the Stabilo All pencil in a super creative, totally kick-ass way. I love, love, love me some Stabilo Well. Awesome. Oh, good. All right. Let me know in the comments when you are caught up and everything is activated. It looks good right now. Like we could be done and I would be happy, but we're gonna do some extra fancy things. I take a picture of it before I keep doing it. Yeah, Stabilo All is super fun. So far, so good. All right. Okay. Jillian is done. Craft I am is done. Awesome. All right. So this is where things get crazy, but in also the best way. And we are going to start adding. Ugh. We are going to start adding watercolors. So I only used three colors for this, this version. And you really have a ton of options as well. So for the sky, I used Shadow Violet by Daniel Smith. And for the lamppost, I used like a touch of random yellow. And for the building, I used sepia. Oh, oh, if I wanted to stop right here, how would I seal it? I would use a acrylic spray sealer. So like Mod Podge makes one. I mean, it doesn't matter who makes it. As long as the words say acrylic spray, it would just spray it. That will freeze all of the stabilo so it wouldn't activate it in case you like spilled some water or something on it. Everything would be frozen in. You would not want to do a brush on sealer. It would be a disaster. You would you would smear the whole entire thing. <clears throat> oh, good. Yeah. Watercolor pencil totally works for this project for sure. Oh, thanks, Patricia. Glad you're having fun today. So. You have a ton of options. If you don't have Shadow Violet, which I, probably a lot of people don't, you could use a Payne's Gray would probably be a good uh, a good option um, or even just like a watered down. Now this to me, um, this to me looks green actually. Um, oh, do I use other color Stabilos? Yeah, not like I do the black. I use the black all the time. Yeah, actually I just bought this. I mean, I have 89 million watercolor pencils, but I don't love any of them the way I love my Stabilo All. I don't even, I think I used whatever this, whatever, uh, Mayan Yellow, because it's the one that's just sitting in my pan here. It's this one, Mayan Yellow, but it just mixes with the, it just mixed with the black to make it look like glowing. You could use any yellow or you could just keep it the white of the paper as well. But um, I was looking at my watercolors and it was what I noticed is check this out. Doesn't 
Arthur's green looked just like this green right here. It's like an exact match. I thought that was so bananas. That's Daniel Smith's under C green. It looks exactly like that, like to the letter. Um, but probably people don't have that color. So other uh, another really popular Daniel Smith color is Moon Glow. So if you have Moon Glow, I think that would look amazing as well. I put some of these in the original description box, like with the event. Um, I think that would look amazing also. Moon, a lot of these colors granulate, so they separate out. The pigments separate, and then you they become other colors. They separate out. So Moon Glow, when it separates, you can see purples, pinks, and blues all in one. So it makes a great sky. This shadow violet that I use for mine, you see how it's kind of like modeled looking? Well, some of that is just because I used a ton of water and I'll show you exactly how to do that in just a second. And the, and the other reason is that these are, this is another really granulating color. So the pigments like go way, like when you add the water, they're like, here we go. You like unleash the color kraken and then they start to granulate. So they separate from one another because the pigment particles are really large and you can start seeing like if you, if I could zoom in super close, you can see like, you can see blues, pinks, grays, purples, all coming out of like this one watercolor. This is why I love Daniel Smith watercolors so much because lots of them granulate just like that. Yes. Oh yes. Yeah. Sterwin uh, graphic tint watercolors are would be perfect for this. I have those as well, um, but they would be a great option. Actually, let me grab my tin. It's right over here. Ooh. Yeah, these would be great. Also, Schminky has some really nice wa granulating watercolors too. But here's like these graphic tints look. Like this green gray graphitin look is very similar to Arthur Rackham's. Very, very similar. So graphitins are like watercolors mixed with graphite particles. So they're already like grungy. These would be perfect for this project. Yes, yes, yes. Totally. Why do you not use the stabil all colors instead of paint? Oh. Um, I could, I could use them, but most people don't have all those water. I didn't want to make, I like this. I like, cause anyone can just use watercolors that they have. They don't, I want like force anybody to buy anything. Please release the color Kraken. I know, right? You got to, um, uh, but yeah, you could use also, you don't really get, you can't get this look with a watercolor pencil. That's just because we're going to use a ton of water. The, the pencils, the downside of the pencils is you can always usually see like the pencil line also, which I don't really love sometimes. Like I don't want to see a pencil line in the sky. Um, should you use the watercolor pen thing or a brush for the for the sky, you want to use a brush. If you have a brush option, I would use it. The water pens are nice because you have a lot of control. So they're really nice to have for the, like when you're tracing over your lines. But when we want to do a big juicy background color, you want, actually, I actually use a mop, which is a really holds a ton of water. And we're going to like, like, I don't know why I'm like, like a mad, but like you, you can really get in there with the water and really make a no lovely swish it all around. Yes. The big one. Jeanette. Oh my God. I've missed you so much. Jeanette. Welcome home. Oh my God. My Facebook has been 100% like taken over by hackers right now. I'm going to cry about it. I have missed you, girlfriend. Mandy Brown is here. She's um, on my behalf uh, on the YouTube channel. Um, but Facebook is a I don't going to cry. Oh, I missed you too, girl. Jeanette, any more Jeanette in my life? <sighs> oh, yeah. You can totally do it later. I'm going to have the replay available. Don't worry. All right. So let's dive in. So um, we can do the background or we can do the insides. Let's do the insides first. So basically, because everything right now is just black and white, let's add, start adding a little bit color because that will help kind of like bring it more to life. Okay, so I just used sepia. Like I just didn't think hard about it. I was like, oh, let's use sepia. But you for I'm gonna do the building first. So pick like a building color, whatever color that is. It doesn't matter. It could be gray. It could be brown. Some shade. 
sepia is kind of like a cold brown. So I'm going to just use that. Uh, I'm just going to use a brush. I'm going to get it wet in my water. I need to find my sepia because it's like in the middle of my palette somewhere. Oh, it's color seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, it's right here. <clears throat> so this is using watercolors in a very basic way. I'm going to take my brush. I'm going to stick it in my sepia. And I'm going to kind of go over again, the, like the areas of the building that I already did. I'm weirdly enjoying having kind of the white of the paper show through today. I'm, I'm loving it. I'm just going to go with it. You can color it all in. It doesn't matter, but we're going to swipe. I'm like swiping across again, just sticking my brush in. I'm not, not mixing. I'm not using a palette. I'm just going right from the pan and we're just chucking some brown color or whatever color you're using into, into the building. So it doesn't just look gray anymore. You can fill it all in. You can be precious. You can be messy. You can be blech, like me because that's what I'm in the mood for. I actually feel like screaming right now. <laughs> so you can do it however you want to and it's going to look cool. There's no wrong way to do it. I'm just swiping in here. I'm kind of loving the edgy, messy look of this right now. It's matching my mood. Okay, so I'm just going to go all the way down my building. Mine's a really old building. So I'm madly... <laughs> Look, I went outside the lines. I don't care. I'm just going. Okay, you can use a lot of water. You can use a little water. You cannot mess this up. Okay. Yes, Jeanette and Mandy are lifesavers is an understatement of the century. Okay, so we have all this edgy wedginess. I'm loving how worn and weathered mine looks. And it's because I'm just moving quickly. I'm not using a ton of water. I'm just going to even add more. So whatever you're in the mood to, for is what you can do. You can be dainty. Okay, it's a watercolor to match every mood. And just like that. My watercolor building is already done already. It takes like two seconds. All right. Let me know when you are caught up and you've done your building. For whatever color you're going to do your building. I know I'm a fast painter, so. <laughs> Mary's a sassy pixie today. Oh, nice for watercoloring. Love it building done. All right. Yeah. It doesn't take much, just a few swipes and we're good. The video looks blurry. I don't know what to tell you. I have, I have no idea. I can't, I don't, I don't know. I'm sorry. Done. You can try refreshing your screen, Monica. You like the lamppost color. Yeah, I do too. It can totally just be black. So now we have, um, okay, looks like some people are done. So we can just move, we're just going to go from one object to the other. So you have a couple of choices for the raven. One choice would be to like scribble, scrabble some more stabilo on and then activate it again with water. Or you can just go in with a black watercolor. Is There's no right or wrong to this. What I think what I'm going to do is actually look at my references in that PDF that I made. Um, like, so these are just solid black, so that's not very helpful. Although actually it is because it, it's going to give me this wing. There's like a little wing bump out here. I think I'm going to add. So my bird looks like a sweet little robin or something. It's supposed to be like a fierce raven. <laughs> it just looks like a sweet little bird. So I think the raven has more of a, like a bigger snout. So I'm just going to do a quick snout transplant. And I think this, I had, a, I had like a very distinct head to body. And I just, so I just made the snout longer and I made, I like kind of got rid of that big bump. 
it does look a little bit better now. But even the raven's beak, I think, is even bigger. They're pretty big. They're pretty big beaks. And then his, I'm going to make his even body even a little bit bigger, I think. I think I'm, it's just too wimpy. I need like a rock solid raven action. So I'm also going to add that. Some scrabble scrabble, which is going to become his upper wing or back wing or whatever the heck. And then even the same thing here. So I'm going off of this reference right now. That's what's informing these decisions. Okay, you can even have like, some more black coming off. And then his, this is too dainty also. So I think for me, I'm going to kind of use my Stabilo all because I kind of like this, again, like this edgy, messy kind of effect. So I'm going to scribble, scrabble some Stabilo on him. And then I'm going to activate that with my brush instead of watercolor. But you could totally just add watercolor just like we did for the building. Absolutely. And so I'm just going to take my brush. Yeah, quick now transplants. So quick. And then we can even have some like they're kind of, you know, they're pretty not furry birds, but... Now I like got rid of his head entirely. So I have to add back a little bit. Now he looks a little bit like a monster. <laughs> My bad. So see how jet black he is? So I didn't even need to watercolor. I just needed, I just needed some more Stabilo. I'm kind of bulking up his tail. Now he looks a little bit more like the ragamuffin raven that I was had was envisioning in my head. Not this dainty little Word. And I either the top of his beak should be rounded. And then there it looks like there's some little feathers up there. All right, that looks much better. He looks still really bedraggled, but I kind of want him to look a little bedraggled. You know, leading a hard life is a omen of death. <laughs> Oh, that's much better. He's all ragged, ragged muffin. Um, it's better to keep your pencil sharp if you're doing details and fine lines. And it's better to keep it rough if you're doing, you know, big lines like the building and areas where you know you're going to want a ton of black. Because it, it's no joke when, like, look at that as jet black, <laughs> just from adding a little scribble scrabble. So the, the, the more rounded your point, the more stabilo you're going to leave on your paper that will get activated. It is a whole no bird, isn't it? Had a little quick personality transplant, super quick. But now he looks like a little rough and raggy, rough and raggy raven that he is. All right. And I still like, I really want my lantern to also look black as night. And I don't think my lamp black watercolor is going to even do me the justice that I want it to do. So I'm going to do the same treatment for my lamp, to be honest. And my tip is super dull, as you can see. I, I kind of like how it's kind of lit right there. So I'm going to just do some scribble scrabbles on this side of my lantern, just scrabbling that. And here, and here, anywhere else I want to like take it up a notch. I think honestly that looks cool too. You could also just leave it. You don't even have to add water. I like how I like that look of the texture over the that blended base. I think that looks really cool. So you could also just leave it. You can do whatever you want anyways, but just showing you your options. And this one, maybe there's like a line in the middle. I don't know if that will stay that way, but we'll see. All right. So, and I also know like there's so much right here that I just added. I don't even, I want to add a little bit to this side as well, but I don't even need to add more Stabilo because I already know that my paintbrush is going to pick up so much black. 
then I'm going to be able to kind of like then take that black and put it in other places. Those look like weathered, weathered, le uh, weathered metal. It sure does. Oh, hi, Karen. I'm glad you found us. What a debacle day has been. All right. So, and sometimes what I'll do is if you can also mess around with the amount of water on your brush. So like I just put my brush into clean water and actually if you then um, I just like patted it down on my paper towel. So now my brush is not wet. It's just damp only. And you can get some kind of cool effects with that too by like not super saturating your black. You can kind of get a, some different effects because as you can see, you don't need much to activate it. I still had a lot on there, but you can get some really cool effects just by doing damp and not super wet. This is a great project to like really get to know your spillo. Because we're just like steer it. It's so fun. Kind of like that and like this. Just swiping it. I, I, on My brush is actually probably even too wet still. But it's such a, you can really mess around with the different effects that you can get. So I'm kind of leaving this area alone so it doesn't go there. And so it leaves this kind of look of like a highlight. It's like, I want this a little bit, come on more. There we go. Like coaxing my Stabilo out to play. So what, uh, what, why also else, that uh, doesn't make sense. Why I also love this Stabilo is that because it stays water reactive, say like you wanted this highlight right now, but you're like, crap, I already got Stabilo over there. It's so water reactive. You can take some wet water and like, you know, say I'll do it over here in my building. You can take some water and like get this area wet and then you can actually lift. Oops, I'm sorry. See how I just lifted this whole area? You can still lift it out. So you can actually correct some of your Stabilo mistakes, if you will, because it's so water reactive. Just get it super wet and then you can actually pull it up and off with your paper towel if you ever needed to. So you could even put those highlights back in if you decided you wanted them later on. They won't look as crisp as the paper. You can also just use like a, I'm going to be using like my, uh, like a white to add highlights back in also. So you have, you have options, which is super nice. But what's nice about the fact that I just used a damp brush and not a super wet brush is that, and this again, it left, like you can still see the texture of the, um, you can see the texture of the Stabilo all still there, which I quite like actually. So it's like a bonus happy accident. But see how it looks like the metal is shining because it's white of the paper, white of the paper, white of the paper, white of the paper, all in the same region. So it looks like it's some casting light or catching light from something. Oh, good, Karen. I'm so glad. Yay, Monique. I'm glad you got here. Better late than never. Stupid Facebook fiasco. <laughs> all right. So now we're going to get ready to do the background. I'm going to, I have to pee real quick, to be honest. I'm going to do that so fast. That will allow everyone to catch up to this point. And while I'm peeing, pick your background color. And it can be any shade of gray. Arthur Rackham's is green. Kind of want to try the green out, to be honest. You could try any, like, any version of a neutral would look cool all the way up to Payne's gray. You could even use like a diluted black. Um, I, you could, we could actually, even if you wanted to, and you're like, all I have is a Stabilo well, I don't even have watercolor. You could even do like scribble scrabbles in the corner. I'll do it at the end to show you. And even just activate that in around your corners and you, it would look really cool. Yes, the moonlight is hitting it for sure. All right, so I will be right back and hopefully my camera isn't going to do the thing where it does right now where it's trying to focus over and over and over and it's really annoying. Okay, it stopped. I'll be back in literally 30 seconds. Urge minute.
All right. No, I'm right next to a bathroom, so it's super bad. Okay, cool. Yay. Okay. So does anyone have any questions about a good background color choice before we dive in? I think I'm going to... Might try this under sea green. I'm so I I didn't realize what a insane match that is until now. Now I'm kind of dying to try it. So this one is my original, and this is the shadow violet, which is an awesome color for stones, castles, spooky lamp posts. So 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 fun. Uh, they are glass beads. It just helps to get the knock the paint off. I'm so impatient and I don't like switching my brush around a lot. So putting glass beads in just helps me clean it really fast. It just like knocks the paint off. <laughs> so yeah, sorry. And I forget it make, even makes a sound. So hopefully it will, hopefully it won't be too loud in the, <laughs> you're welcome. Liz. Why don't we all need a bathroom break? <laughs> Uh, you can't get the raven um, in like the shape. So I would, well, luckily you can, you can draw like larger. And this is why I recommend getting the PDF because sometimes it's, it's nice and helpful to have a couple different references to like get ideas from. Um, but we're going to, we started with that big backwards C. Then we added the beak. And then the back. So birds are like uh, almost crazy simple. Like we, we tend to make them hard in our heads because like hey, we're drawing a bird. But like really it's just a backward C, a triangle for the beak. And then we're just connecting up that beak with the end of the backward C shape. That helps at all. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so now we're gonna do the background, which is super freeing and super fun. Again, anyone can do this. You just need any kind of neutral. I really am gonna try that weird green because I wanna be like Arthur Rackham. But again, I did Shadow Violet. Bloodstone Genuine is another super good choice for this one. Payne's Gray, if any Daniel Smith fans are out here as well. Hermitite Genuine would be good. Any of these neutrals would be really good. <clears throat> Some of these blues would be really nice too, like Sodalite Genuine. Oh my God, love. Um, Lunar Blue would be an awesome choice. Um, if you guys have any of these colors. Blue Appetite Genuine, Mayan Blue Genuine, any of the Graphitint colors, any of like the steel blue, I would just use a lot of water so it's not too dark. Um, ocean blue is great. Graphite gray is great. Like so many yummy, yummy choices. I am really tempted to try this weird green so I can be just like Arthur Rackham <laughs> today. All right. I am using a, a mop brush because it holds a ton of water. So if you don't have a mop, just use your biggest brush that you have kicking around. I'm putting it in my water jar. I need to find where my green is. It is the this whole numbering system. Oh my God. Six. It's let's see. Four from the right. One, two, three, four. I think it's this one. Yep. I'm gonna shove my wet mop into my pan. And I'm going to ooh, get it wetter. You need a lot of water. Really, it's green. I'm doing it green just like Arthur. I'm shoving it into my pan. All right. And I am starting to squiggle it around. This is super not rocket science. Okay. So I'm tons of water, tons of paint. Slap it on your paper. <laughs> I start in the corners. Okay. To get this so that it looks sort of glowing in the center. We're gonna all around the edge of the building and the edge of our paper, we're gonna do it the darkest. And then we're just gonna add water to make it lighter as it goes towards the light. Got that? So edge, paper edge, building edge, dark. We can even just do that first and then we'll go and add the water. And I don't care if it bonks into my building, 
And that even activates my Stabilo a little bit because most of the Stabilo has been brought into the building. So most of it's already been activated, but we want it darker by our building anyways. So I'm going to, I'm touching it on purpose. I'd rather not be scared of it. I'd rather just touch it and get it over with. Take whatever black's going to come with me. Okay. And see how we're getting nice and black by the edges. Ooh, excuse me, Mr. Raven. I need to add some background. All right. Now do a little careful because it's getting black. So, so now we have our little edgies all edgy. Okay. Yes, this green is undersea green and I'm just using it for fun. The, the supply colors I listed on that PDF are shadow violet and that's what I used on my original. So any kind of weird gray color works. So see how it's nice and dark all around it. And so I want it, I, I actually just, I'm just using water, just water around the edges. I even hit my lantern or lamp post, whatever this is. And even that is activating. I did that on purpose to show you not to be afraid. It's fine. Okay. It's all fine. But see, I went in straight. Let me just turn down my brightness. It's like a bit. It's this one. It was up a little bright so you couldn't actually see. So then I just used water to kind of like pull it into the center. You can use any color that you want, any form of gray, blue, green. <laughs> oh, the P, okay, so the PDF is for people that are on my mailing, my newsletter list. If you want to subscribe to my newsletter, go to awesomeartschool.com and just click sign up for newsletter. And I will send out the PDF again with my, with the replay to this, which I will edit. So it's not a hot mess. Okay, so again, I'm putting nice dark background color, whatever background color, doesn't matter. If I can do green, you can do any shade of blue or gray and you will do amazing. <clears throat> okay, so again, we want it dark by the building and then light by our lantern. So kind of just, excuse me, excuse me, Mr. Raven. Just fill in around here here around here <clears throat> and then I'm just gonna use plain water just plain water to kind of like spread it towards my lamppost okay like loving the green I, I never would have thought to do green thank you so much Arthur um, can some, yeah, someone had put the link to that too. Mandy, if you're still watching, can you put that bit.ly link to the PDF in here for you it's in here again? Mandy Brown, if you're still there. All right. And again, I'm going to do this corner first. So the corners are always going to be the darkest. I just like to do that also because it also kind of frames your picture like naturally. But like that's super dark. So now I'm just going to grab some water to spread it. That's it. Just plain water. I actually want more, more paint. But plain water is just going to. And I'm just doing these little mini circles with my brush. Because it makes it look kind of modeled. You know, like, ooh. You know, ooh. <laughs> And again, if you want to, you know, you can, you can touch, don't be afraid to touch your lantern. It's fine. Or not touch your lantern, but I just don't want you to be afraid of it. Over here. Yeah, M Mandy. Okay, thank you. Mandy's going to grab it. She made a bit.ly link from it. All right, so again, I have this part doesn't have any color on it yet. So 
I'm just going to, I don't have any on the sides here, so I'm going to do that. And then again, I'm just going to squiggle my brush around. Squiggle my brush around. Kind of to anywhere that doesn't really have the green yet. Again, just plain water. When it comes to the spreading, you just want the plain water. And go right up here. The link is giving an error. This whole day is giving me an error. <laughs> Did you, and it is case, oh, it's not working. Lovely. Well, in, for all of you on my newsletter, like Debbie, you should have my newsletter. You guys all have, I sent it twice. I sent it on Saturday and again on Monday. So if you wanna go check your, your newsletter, you, it is in there for you two times. Um, and then I'll send it this afternoon again. So if you're not on my newsletter, you can still get it. And then as you'll notice, as it starts drying, it will start like lightening it up. And I'm like, wait, no, don't go away. I want it nice and kind of dark. So I'm going to actually go back and do my corners again. I really like it when it's super dramatic around the edges. It's just going to make this like glow more and more by being edgy and like scrumbly around the edges because it's kind of all relative. All right. So, so to sign up for the newsletter, just go to awesomearschool.com and click sign up for a newsletter. And if you're already on my newsletter, you can check it. I'll send it later. Or check your emails for me that I sent over the weekend. You're having a technologically completely challenged day today. All right. Now I still have like my white of the paper showing, which I don't love. Just trying to get rid of all of that everywhere. So it's consistent. All right, so the only place we haven't really addressed is inside the um, inside the lantern. But we're going to do that now. Just get inside this this space. <laughs> oh, interesting. Oh yeah. I'm also, I have a giveaway that I do in my Facebook group, assuming my Facebook group is still there when I get back from this. If you guys want to join me? I do giveaways on the first of every single month. Um, and if you do want to post your final good, bad, ugly, does not matter whatsoever. And you use the hashtag, good Lord, fart along. Yes, you heard that correctly. Fart along. Um, you will be automatically entered to win. And it's called Fart Along because this is supposed to be on Facebook. The F is actually for Facebook and we are arting along. Except we're not on Facebook because hackers have completely taken over my Facebook page as we speak. So yeah, there's that. Um, but back to the painting, here we go. And you can post it in my Facebook group. And the Facebook group, if you just go to groups and search for Awesome Art School, you will find my Facebook group. Oh gosh. Okay, let's do the lantern. We have been ignoring the inside of the lantern. You've never hashtag. All you do is type the number sign and the word. So number sign fart along. Um, since you're like, since you're a Wonder Bundle member, you can post any and all of any projects you're doing from all three of the clubs since you're in all three. And then you just use the hashtag of whatever club you're dancing around in that day. So if you're doing a project from the Celtic Collective, you would just do a hashtag Celtic Collective and boom, you're automatically entered to win. And you can enter a thousand times a month. It doesn't matter. And we restart every month. 
So you have endless chances to win. And my prizes are good. And I give away six prizes, five a month or six if we have a part along. So this is always our bonus one. Prizes are no joke, friends. I don't mess around when it comes to prizes. We have big, big prizes. All right. So I am going to go into the yellow super quick because I don't want like bright yellow lantern and like dark spooky night. Like that looks weird. So I'm going to, I will be intentionally bonking into my Sibilla lines because I want to edgy this up. It's nighttime. It's super dark. It's an old, dirty lamp post. Like it's not, it's not cheery Disneyland. Okay. <laughs> you put the hashtag looks like this. It looked like this. Fart along. Fart along. This is what it looks like. Oh my God. I just, who did this? Am I on there now? Is it working? Oh my God. I have, that's the first Facebook thing that I have seen uh, since I went on. I hope that means the page is back up. Oh, you have to upload your picture. You just upload your picture. Mary, I have um, videos on how to do this for you. Okay. If you go to any of the clubs and you look in the new member classrooms, there's videos on how to upload your artwork to Facebook and use the hashtag. Um, so I got you, I got you help, but we'll wrap this up, but, but I have lots of resources to help you. And actually all of my help videos for awesome art school are on my awesome art school YouTube channel, which is a different YouTube channel, but we'll talk more about that later. Let's get back to the, let's get back to the lantern. I'm just going to use whatever yellow I have. Um, well, so I have mine in yellow. I just use like a touch of it because I don't want this to be again obnoxious. Just want like a hint of yellow as if it's on. And then immediately I am gonna purposefully put my brush and touch it on the stabilo to kind of get it edgy looking. And there's just like a hint of yellow, just a hint, like just a little dabble do ya. Just, I'm just touching, I'm like literally taking my damp brush. I'm just touching my wet, I'm just touching it. That's it, That's all you get. And then you go, it's already like too much. Okay, so just a tiniest bit of whatever yellow you have rocking on your palette. And that's it. If you are like, crap, it's too much. The stabilo's everywhere, don't forget. You can lift, you can take a paper towel and you can lift, like if it's too crazy, you can just be like, oh crap, and just lift it up, okay? You can like, watercolor get a bad rap they're way more forgiving than people give them credit for you can do all sorts of correcting with watercolors you can use any acrylic spray to seal any brand doesn't matter as long as it says has the words acrylic spray sealer you can use it all right so there's our yellow um yeah we're almost done so if there's any edges you want to make darker, you would just, at any time, it can be dry, it can be wet, it can be damp. You can just, add, you know, go for it. Just go right back into whatever, whatever fun neutral you were doing. And you can like just touch up those edges as you, as you like. Kind of the darker your edges, right? The moodier glowier your lantern is going to be. And again, it's just straight up paint on your edges and your corners. And then you just use water to move it along <laughs> and to blend it out and to make it lighter. So I, I think I did. Yeah. What is this? My, this is like my second or my third pass. And I'm just doing these ridiculous squiggle, scrabble moves with my brush. So it makes it look, you know, modeled and messy. But it goes with the whole vibe. It goes with our modeled messy building. It goes with our modeled messy lantern. It goes with our hot miss Facebook hacker attack. It goes with everything. 
but that's how you and then you stay away from here and you keep that more like your paper you can paint the size of your canvas sure all right so yeah i'm happy with the green i never would have done green so usually this time i will dry my my paper a little bit because it's like really saturated wet at the moment my background is anyways my, my my building's actually pretty dry so i'll just continue i'm going to sharpen my stabilo oh my gosh i almost far i almost forgot the most fun part of was this whole thing but this will give us this will give us time all right we need the background to dry a little bit because the next move, this was my whole inspiration from starting this. I don't know if you, you probably missed the first start of this nightmare of a broadcast system. But when I first saw this reference, I was dreaming of making these like snarl, craggly, like crooked twigs with like my left hand. Because what happens is because I draw so much, I have like too good control. So if I try to make something like a stick it would be like too well curved it would be like it's like too good is not the right word it's too like i don't know like manufactured what we want is like these awkward crinkled bent lines for the vines so i thought it would probably be probably get really good ones if you use your non-dominant hand because that's all like oh awkward and out of control and you don't have good control which will probably get you the right lines and i was totally right when i tried this out so i'm really excited to bring you this next step but we need the background to be a little bit dry because it's hard to it's hard to color on uh with non-soluble things on a damp background. So if you have like a hair dryer nearby, you want to quick dry it, that's fine. But what we'll do to kill time while we wait for ours to dry is like a lot of this is faded now. So I'm going to doodle my building with my Stabilo ball all and I'm not going to activate it again. This is kind of like my final pass. So my building is dry because I've been busy over here this whole time. Okay. <laughs> so now we can like a lot of my lines have been really blurred and slurred. Um, so I'm going to, this is so wet because I just redid the background again. So I'm going to turn it, um, I'm turning it around because I, my hand's going to be on here a ton and this is dry. So that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. So now I sharpen my stability so I can kind of like redraw if I, something is, my line got really lost. I can also come in here and like kind of doodle. If you want to edgy this up, I'm just going to doodle. I really like the texture that the Stabilo all makes on my building. And I felt like this was getting lost because my background is so dark. And then I'm like, this way I can kind of like add some oomph. Now you can go back and activate that over and over and over again. So if you decide you want to, you totally can. Oh, you know what? I forgot to reactivate this line in the middle here just like forgot all about it shoop so fill that in oh look how way too black that is okay so you can kind of doodle put these these lines you would see on an actual building so you can kind of put them in if they get lost add re-add some definition there you can add some darker like under these areas would be a little shadow line. So a little scribble scrabble will do ya. So it helps you fill in. I tend to like leave little gaps between my layers. And so okay, it helps me kind of fill those in. Just edging this up. Edging that up. It's like really is like a fool proof project. Super fun. Great for all ages. And that, that was the part that I lifted. Remember, I actually kind of like that. It's a, uh, that it's a different. It actually looks really nice that it's different and it's not like super solid the whole way. I actually liked. Yeah, you can dry it. I'm just 
was just killing time with that while I waited for mine to dry. If you have a hair dryer, I would use it. I am going to do mine for just a second, but I'll mute it so your ears don't blow out for just a second. And then we're going to switch to, you can actually still use your Stabilo all for this. Um, I prefer to use like a brown, like a brown because they're, um, what's it called? They're, you know, twigs. What is it called? Vines. <laughs> They're made of wood creatures. Um, so you can use a black for sure and keep just keep using your stay below and then we're just not gonna activate it. We're gonna use it as a as like a colored pencil instead. So I'm gonna just try this two for like two seconds. Okay. Yeah. The craggy squiggles are where it's at. I agree. This is the best part. All right. That just took a second. What are these? These are the pencils I used for my last time, but I don't actually love this one. You can also use graphite. If all you have is like a regular pencil, I'm just going to grab my uh, colored pencils. There we go. Um, Just like a dark brown of any kind. All right. And this is where things get weird. Because it does truly look better if you use your non-dominant hands. Oh, yay, you guys. I'm glad. Yeah, Gina, you can just paint over. It's totally fine. If it lightens a little, you just redraw. So I am taking <laughs> my left, uh, my left, oh, there's one thing I want to do before we do the craggy squiggles, though. Um, one is I very much like um, on my version how there's these diagonal lines. So one thing I learned when I was doing architectural drafting is when you do windows, you do like diagonal lines. So we can do the same thing with like our just Stabilo. So I'm just going to super, super lightly draw just with the side of my Stabilo, make some diagonal marks. And it just gives the subtle indication that like that's glass. That is all I'm going to do. Very, very quick, very subtle. And then when we, you'll see when we go in, we're going to add some highlights and it just kind of accentuates that. But I'm just super light squiggle. And you can see it just makes it look like a little bit more glass-like. All right. So I just sharpened this so I have to be careful not to push down so hard. So I'm with my left hand. So we have these crazy, oh, I already broke it, <laughs> crazy, you know, flailing truly millions of these long awkward vines now if i was doing this with my right hand and they would they would just all be too perfect so i'm purposely kind of holding my hand to like this like ooh, like this weirdly because if you do like this it's just too it's too neat we want these to be weird awkward like Vines are, you know, crazy and they're coming out of nowhere and they're chopping ac across <laughs> and down off our paper. And the weirder they look, the better they look and more realistic they look, actually. So we can have lots. We can have some here coming down. And I'm pushing down 
and I'm like purposefully, you know, making them go every which way. And the more the better. You can also do some with your black stabilo, just dry. Oh, is this? Yeah, this is my stabilo. Just make sure we're done activating. You don't want to add this and then act accidentally <laughs> use it again later. But I love, they're just like everywhere. And like the bolder you are, the better it looks. So go crazy. And another thing I know, I mean, Arthur has like a, the hundreds of them. Like I stopped and then I was like, oh, and I looked, I'm like, no, they just like keep going forever. Oh, my dagger. Maybe they're wheeling around the dagger. Maybe they're going around this top part. Oh, God. So satisfying. So satisfying. <laughs> oh, it's so like that. Ah, extra spooky. And then I notice what he does is he has these little tiny like little nodules so i actually did take the time and go and like just add some little baby buds i don't know what they are but i just try to recreate what i see there's just these little like notches kind of here and there which you don't would you barely see you can barely make them but i think from like afar it just makes them look a little bit more craggy that's my word for the day. Oh, mm, you're so welcome. <laughs> my raven is mutant. Ah, whatever. You can do it again. Just for fun. And I don't know, do a different one. And then we're almost to the very last step, which is putting some white highlights in. He also has these like birds cuckooing in the background. <laughs> so you can, you can add those in as well. So I just did like three, four, I guess. He has a bunch. He has the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, maybe one over there. So you can do those. I think I'm going to skip mine today because my lantern is so big. It's taking up my whole page. Um, but I just want to draw your attention to the fact that the, there are birds there. If you want to pepper them in. <laughs> there you go. There you are zoomed. There's my little, these are my little things I'm making. Boop. Whoa, look at that. I just smeared. It wasn't even a watercolor pencil. I just smeared it anyways. So these little nodules. It's crazy looking. Whee! More the better. So there are the, those were the light, like vertical lines that I was doing on my yellow lantern. Am I doing something Friday? Um, I don't think so. I don't know. I have to, I don't know off the top of my head. <clears throat> oh, he doesn't have an, uh, he doesn't have an eye yet. We're going to do that right now. We're going to do that because we're going to do the highlight. Oh, good. I'm glad. I know. I'm shocked to how I never would have done green had I not watched his thing. So now we're going to do the highlights and we're going to be done. So I tend to go a little highlight crazy and like, I'm not sorry. I just love it. So this is my favorite. I don't know why it's actually, I actually mess up with it all the time. Um, it is on the, in, on the PDF of the supplies list. And it's actually in this, in the description box for this live stream. It's also in there. I'm obsessed. This is like a little nail polish thing. I, I make so many mistakes with it and I refuse to stop using it. I love it as a teeny tiny little brush. And so I tend to get, um, I tend to get really carried away with it and yeah, I'm going to continue to do so. So when I do highlights, so instead of the eye, like I would just do, I mean, I'm looking at my reference, so I don't totally screw this up. I'm just going to do like a tiny, like that's it for the eye. That's it. 
just one little dot. Now on my reference, this is mine, I did like some just on its, like to indicate like wing, like there's a wing here, that's it. Just three little white dots. Now I already have quite a bit of highlight here, but I'm armed with my with my amazing nail polish highlight system. Oh, see that big blob that I just left? This is where I got in trouble. So just be careful for that. So I may have to stay consistent with the highlights that I already have. So on my reference, I did all my highlights on the left. So in this one, I'm going to do all my highlights on the right or else it doesn't read correctly. So just pick a side. And um, you can accentuate whatever highlights you made purposefully or accidentally. But when it comes to the glass of the lantern, you want to make those highlights um, vertic not vertically, horizontally, just like we did for it when we added shading, because it, it gives, again, it gives the illusion of glass. So we wanted to have those at, at a or uh, diagonal, what oh, can I think of that word, diagonal. Okay, and then this, again, that is the white of the paper, so that's great, but if you missed your opportunity to keep white highlights, you can just pop them in right now with whatever white, and you can use a white pencil, you can use a white paint pen, whatever you have that makes white, let's do it. And you just keep it consistent. Now, I'm also gonna chuck a white highlight on here, because that's metal, so you'd, you would have a lot of, reflecting going on in this metal. Here's my dagger. You could even pop a white highlight there also. Kind of like anywhere that you want. Just be consistent. So you're like on the right, 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 on the right. So just keep reminding yourself, you're just going on the right. Maybe this, there's a little one here. You can even have one here, like a glint of, you know, it's all metal, metal, metal. So it makes it look shiny, which is super fancy. Um, and then for funsies on mine, I also was just chucking white highlights like all over my building. <laughs> um, so you really can, you can really have a lot of fun with this. Whoop. All right. So there's, you can see it like zoomed out. It gives that kind of like shiny metal look. And just popping in some whites and knowing where to be consistent. So again, doesn't matter which side, just decide and then keep it and be consistent. Um, I think I'm going to keep my building dark. I'm not going to add highlights. Is that true? Yeah. I think I like that the lantern in this is kind of stealing the show and that it's shiny and that I, I'm okay with the fact that the building's kind of like getting set back into the background. And I would even, I might even like... Um, so remember, I scribbled in some Stabilo. I actually wouldn't even mind activating some of that and getting it even a little bit darker. And you can even just activate the... Again, you can try that like dry brushing versus wet, wet. You can try that. Try different things. There's like barely any water on my brush, so it's not really doing anything. But that, my friends, is that. All sorts of weird play here. All right, so now we have super dark, and then this is really like illuminated on one side. Why does it look like you have painted your face white in several places? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, thank you for watching. <laughs> I don't really know anything today. I don't know why anything is happening. <laughs> Been kind of a shit show. <laughs> so I am impressed as many people hung on as they did considering the whole entire beginning part of this. I am going to... Um, I'm going to download this recording and edit it, and I'm going to email this to all, everyone on my newsletter. Um, so I'm also will, I can also upload it to my YouTube channel as a video rather than a live screen. So make sure you subscribe to this channel before you leave so you don't get left out of that, especially if you're not on my newsletter. And if you want to sign up for my newsletter, um, just go to awesomeartschool.com and click sign up for a newsletter. I'm going to mail out 
for those that didn't receive it. I had I made like a six page PDF, which had a, a super huge collection of like royalty free lamp posts. I, I do think it would be really fun to try this on different fancy lamp lamp posts. Uh, I think so. So. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, sorry. It is what it is. Um, so yeah, so there we go. Well, thank you guys so much. Does anyone have any questions before I hop? Oh, um, all right. Awesome. 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 <laughs> That's really freaky. It's the camera light up close tells all. That's freaking me out, Brenda. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what you mean by that, but it does not sound good. <laughs> Bye, you guys. I'm glad you had fun. <laughs> I need to do a triptych of Halloween paintings. I have a ton of Halloween paintings. Actually, and if you're Mixed Media Society members, I have a whole holiday classroom that's filled, and I have a lot. Um, you can do Morticia there. Um, you can do my steampunk girl. She's quite, she's the Mixed Media Hamburger system. Um, I also have this real-time tutorials of this um as well i have a really quick eight minute time lapse of my sugar skull girl but if you want that real tutorial that's all in the mixed media society is the stabilo all the same thing as a stabilo pencil yep just make sure it has the word it make sure it has the all in it you want the all it looks like this and it says paper, glass, plastic, metal on it. It's like a special watercolor pencil that is super black and super awesome. You are so well, Patricia. I'm so glad that you had fun. Oh, you like the Halloween classroom, Stacy? I know I love Halloween, so I have probably more Halloween uh, projects than I have anything else. Good. I'm so glad. You're welcome. Thank you guys for like, uh, yeah, you can rewatch it. It's going to live right here. It's under live streams and I'm going to upload the video, the edited version later. So please subscribe now so you don't forget. And then you'll get, you'll get notified when I upload the edited version. That's your first painting. Stop it right now, Mary. That's amazing. Use Conte crayon. Conte is not water soluble. So when you add the water, it won't all uh, melt like this one did. You are welcome. Good. I hope you do for sure. Um, all right. I'm off to download and edit. Um, no way. It's your first one. Oh, my goodness. You guys have just a whole fun world in store for you. That's amazing. And don't forget to post in the Facebook group. You search. Go to Facebook and search Awesome Art School for groups. Use the hashtag fart along and you'll be entered to win. My drawing is on Sunday. So um, the winners can choose. Um, you can choose any one of my art books. I have 18 plus art books to choose from or one of my pencil pouch designs. I have 18 pencil pouches you can choose from. And they are, they're, they're big pencil pouches. They are no joke. So we have lots of fun, lots of fun prizes. <laughs> Um, oh, I'm so glad you had fun, Jeanette. Thank you so much. Awesome. Yay, I'm glad that was your first time and you loved it. If you loved it today, you should see when my Facebook account is not being hacked. I'm much more relaxed. <laughs> yes, you do that in the Facebook group, Mary. That is correct. Yay. Yay, yay, yay. Awesome. You guys, thank you so much for being here. You were so supportive and so nice through that whole debacle. I really appreciate it so much. You guys have a great rest of your day and I'm going to go meet you in the Facebook group right now. Okay, guys. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>